In this video, we'll take a closer look at set position node. It's probably one of the most utilized nodes in the geometry nodes. Let's take a look at how to use it. Add a curve line. Set the end point of the curve line to 2 on the x axis. Add a curve to mesh node to render the curve. Add a curve circle to be used as a profile curve and reduce radius to make it look good. For visual checking and working, add an instance on points node and connect the cube to the instance. Then, add a set position node. The most basic utilization is to move the entire object with the offset option. But in most cases, we want more sophisticated controls. For example, we may want to move a specific point on the curve. If we want to move only the starting point, we can offset only the starting point location through endpoint selection. What would we do if we only wanted to move the middle point? Currently, there are only two control points, so in order to move the middle point, first, we need to add resample curve node. Now we can choose the point we want to move in the middle. Please refer to the previous video for more information on the selection. However, there are some problems with this method of selection. When there are many curve points, it feels inefficient to select one by one. Above all, it's not intuitive. It would be nice if we could control the shape of a curve according to the shape of a graph. It can be done by utilizing the float curve node. Add a spline parameter, add a float curve, add a separate XYZ and combine XYZ node. Utilize the coordinate value of X and Z. This way, we can intuitively control individual points according to the shape of the float curve. It's much easier than selecting one by one and moving it. If we take a closer look at this simple node structure, we'll get some ideas about how to use the set position node. That's it for this video. Thank you for your time.